Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, so here and today we have uh, Dr. T Volcano Island on our archipelago and we're going to go ahead and take him. But before we do that, um, Supercell today announced a changes to, uh, to the uh, cycle of evil. They said that soon, um, we don't know how soon, um, they're going to add another event to the cycle of evil called Imitation Game. And essentially what it boils down to is that um, Super Cells have looked at the best bases, player bases that, um, that, that have been placed by players, essentially, and uh, Hammerman is going to copy them. Um, so, uh, on each stage, so at each, how do you call it, at each of the victory punk le level ranks, Supercell has select, uh, I'm guessing he's going to select the best bases that have defended for each of the stages, and then they're going to make Hammerman, they're going to make Hammerman copy those. Um, so therefore then you will have to go and attack each of the hammer by, um, uh, how do you call it? You will have to go and attack each of Hammerman's um, bases. So you, they, they will have seven stages of increasing difficulty. Um, so it's in addition to the cycle of evil. So before we had, um, right now we have a, a seven day cycle, um, which has its advantages and disadvantages. The first thing is uh, now the cycles are set. So every Monday you will have Hammerman fleet. Every Tuesday, you would have uh, Dr. T, Tropical Island. Wednesday, Dr. T, Volcano Island. On Thursday, you would have Gearhart's War Factory. On Friday, you would have um, Hammerman's Imitation Game. And then Saturday, again, repeating the Tropical and Volcano Island. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I like the idea of having a rolling, a, um, a rolling event cycle. Because that way the cycles would not land on the same day. And people that had trouble, let's say, on a Tuesday uh, for Hammerman because they couldn't have put in so much time. Then the next day would be on a Monday. And then the, the, the previous time, you know, the, the following time it would be on a Sunday, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now they're fixed. Um, which is good. Uh, you know, it could be good or bad depending on how you look at it. Um, I just... In general, changes, you know, when, when I'm used to something, changing it, it I, I don't like it that much. Now, there's another thing that they, they did not put here is that they're going to add the new, also the new operation. It's a, it's a harder operation. I think they say it's going to cost 186 Intel, which is a lot less than the other ones, but it's going to be very, very hard. And it's going to give you a lot of four po force points. Um, so that, that also seems to be good. Now, let's take a look. Um, uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I, if, if you like the idea of... Um, of, of, of the imitation game, if you like the concept, if you like the changes on the schedule. Um, so yeah, do, do let me know. Uh, so let's take a look again. I took Hammerman, uh, not Hammerman, Dr. T Volcano Island using um, Smoky Suka and Smoky Heavy Suka. Smoky Heavy Suka was only used for the last stage. For the rest of them, um, I, I used uh, Smoky Suka. And I had loaded one boat of heavies and the rest were Sukas. So let me show you quick their stats. I was not boosted when that happened. No, I was not I'm not, I was not boosted. I'm still not boosted. So what you see is what, what I was using at the moment. Heavies level 22. And then my Sukas uh, level 21 max. And those were the stats. I was not, I, I had um, 92? Yeah, 92 base GBE energy. So yeah, so without any further ado, let's um, just take a look at those. All right, so let's take a stage one. Landed three boats. I mean, this one, this this stage, there's a lot of free energy, free GB that you can take if you go to the right. There's gonna be plenty of energy so that you can just barrage that rocket launcher if that's your your weakness with your troops. You can do that. Um, if your weakness is the boom cannon, if you have heavies or whatnot, then you can take it. But this stage should not be hard at all. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed this up, but essentially flirt to the top, flirt to the middle of those containers, um, and then start smoking my troops in. And then I smoke them right next to the HQ and just let my troops, you know, rip it out. Um, I think I landed a box of critters inside the smoke so that the mortars would target those first. 
and yeah go from there um not 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 very hard as you can see one shot they took it down i mean 39 39 unboosted those 39 sukas do in one shot 87,285 damage um actually no 64 we, without the boost is 64 624 all right let's take a look at stage number two So again, there's a lot of free GBE that you can take on the right side. There's a two, four, five, six, seven. You have seven containers, so you have 21 free GBE on the right side, and then you also have three more here on the on the lower side on the beach. So you can, I mean, if you wanted to, you could land here, grab those three, flare to that corner, grab those other seven, and then just GBE whatever needs to be GBE. In my case, I went straight for the god. I smoked next to the sniper tower. And then I'm going to smoke where that machine gun is. Um, my intention was to take down the, was to take down the, just the, the, the mine, but my artillery was too precise. <laughs> so I took the machine gun too. Um, in any case, that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to park there. And I'm thinking I flare directed to the HQ. No, I didn't. I didn't flare, so so yeah. I just wanted to destroy stuff around me before I send a critter pack again, because that's what the 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 boom cannon is gonna target first, and then from there just target HQ three shots, two shots, and it was down. So pretty easy stage. Um, I, I believe that you know most most players can could, could take stage through no stage two no problem. Now on stage three, I lost one suka due to a boom cannon sh um, shot, and, and essentially because I did not plan my path very well. Here, the movement, you know, the path where sukas are gonna move the best way, it's this way, like around that, around that direction, around this direction, and then the diagonal, so straight up and down, and straight and straight left and right. Um, that's where the sukas are gonna move um, e better. But you, you can see, instead of flaring, my Sukas would have moved directly diagonal if I had put that flare in front of that cannon. In front of that cannon right there, if I had to place it, that would have made the Sukas walk on a straight line. However, because I put it up, now my Sukas are sort of weaving in and out. And so I lost one Sukas, not, not a big deal, but just, just, be, just take that into consideration when you're planning your moves. All right, so from here, I spend one one flare, three smokes. Um, I, I'm going to then move to the front. And I think here on this this time, I actually targeted the, the HQ directly. Yes, I did. Um, so now it's just a matter of crittering what I need to be crittered, and then shocking what needs to be shocked. You see, that, that critter initial um, distracted the mortars. If I hadn't shocked the mortars... And those motors would have fire on the critters first because they were spotted first, even though my sukas were closest. All right, so that was stage three. Yeah, that was stage three. Let's take a look at stage four. Stage four has, uh, you know, complication starts to, things start complicating a little bit. But note that you have lots of free GB. Again, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine containers that are there for free so you have what um, nine times three <coughs> <coughs> sorry so you have 27 free gb that you that you that you're gonna get right away if you were to send critters there and if you don't have critters if you send your troops on that direction you're gonna get a lot of free gb now i send a critter pack just to grab those free gb whatever they can whatever it goes over eight it's profit so right now they destroy two that's three, four. So not, right now I'm over. I'm over the, um, the 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 GBE that I that I had to use. So after that, then I just go ahead and land here on the on the on the beach. Um, let me speed this up. All right. So one smoke covers them while they align from the mortar. Right, I smoke right in the middle. And the flag's right in the middle of that V notch. That makes them all land nice and tidy. 
And then from there, I'm going to flare diagonally. That's going to allow me to get into a position where I can then flare up to where those rocket launchers are. Because that's going to be my final spot. Um, because it's not, we're not perfectly vertical. I decide to do an intermediate step to, to get them to the vertical stop. So we're moving on this axis. And then from there, it's just a matter of shocking the rocket launcher that's on the, on the far side, sending some critters to distract the cannons if I wanted to on the sniper tower, and then go from there. We have one Suka that step out of the smoke. That's Suka call his, you know, fate. So I, I'm, you know, you don't freak out if stuff like that happens. There's no need. You're gonna, if you're gonna lose some Sukas because they step up by the time you send the flare or the smoke or the shock early, that Suka or that or those Sukas are already gone. So don't alter your plan because some Sukas, you know, stepped out of the smoke. Um, it's not, it's not worth it. Trust me. All right, so that's stage four. Let's take a look at stage five. Again, the same thing. I'm gonna go on the. I'm gonna go on the right side. I do believe I take advantage of those two, uh, those two GBE containers or goo containers are there. I think I let my troops actually capture them or destroy them. Um, while I'm walking, I'm gonna make this hole on where that rocket launcher and mortars are. That's gonna be my 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 suka spot. One artillery was enough with one barrage. All right, so now I need to be quick. I need to smoke and smoke. And I was a little bit late, so I almost lost a bunch of, you know, I almost lost maybe five or six sukas there because I was late to the game. And here you see, I, I flirt to the final resting spot. And again, because it's not on a diagonal or a vertical line, according to the grid of the map, then the Suka starts walking like crazy. And some of them decided to walk outside and they died. And I did not alter my, my smoke or I did not add smoke to just save those, those few. Adding, doing that is gonna be, it's gonna spell catastrophe because you're wasting more GBE than you have. And here then I, I flirt to the corner, I smoke and critter and I forgot about the shock launcher. So I kind of freak out. I send a, I send, I send a, um, I sent a med kit to heal everybody, and luckily the shock launcher started firing at the critters. That's what should have happened, but I was a little bit late to the party sending those critters so that the shock uh, actually targeted my sukas because they came out of the smoke first before the critters landed, and that almost cost me stage stage five. Would have been you know shameful, but no, I got I got them. I lost twenty one sukas there. Now stage six, I lost a lot more sukas. I lost, I landed 89 sukas and I lost 48. So more than half of my troop concentration went out. Um, and and I think it was mainly due to late shocking. Um, we'll, we'll see, I don't remember exactly. No, I think I was just too far. So this one, there isn't a lot of free stuff that you can take. So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and go to the spot that I need. Um, I'm going to land my troops on the V-notch again, land at all my troops, no need for smoke, go to straight to the corner, and I think he fires once, I don't care. And I think that was the, 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 the main problem right here. Yep. You see, those sukas walked outside and boom, I lost there like maybe 15 sukas in just one artillery shot. Just because that flare was not on the corner, it was not aligned with the with the grid lines of the map. That mine was a 51 damage mine, so it was not that bad. And then there was a hidden sneaky mine, guys. Hummer, you know, Dr. T is becoming smart. In any case, I think that was it. That, that, w w I sent two critters, so that was the error. I sent two critters. I sent two critters to the um to the HQ when I only intended to send one, and then I think I ran out of shocks. Yes, I did. So I ran out of shocks. I needed to shock that rocket launcher on the front, and I needed to shock the, the I needed to shock those mortars behind me, and my shock did not hit. 
I didn't shock the mortars behind me. So it was a combination of sloppy flaring, sloppy sending the critter boxes, and just the, the defenses being on point and just hitting me in the most unfortunate matter. Oh, and that sneaky mine. Yeah. Having to use that extra um, six GBE to, to heal them what was cost me um, the extra shocks. So that was stage six. Let's take a look at stage seven. In stage seven, I landed with my heavies because I did not have enough GBE. I was not boosted, like I said. I did not have enough GBE to do um, to go to my spot, open you know enough GBE to open my spot, shock what I needed to be shocked, and 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 make it safely. So I needed a, a reprieve, and that reprieve came up to be as the heavies. So my first intention, I cleared those. Mortars and flamethrowers right there because my spot is going to be right there in that open spot. And I needed it clear because the flamethrower was going to kick my Suka's body if I let it arrive. And, and being there meant that I was going to waste a shock and I would not be able to shock those two rocket launchers. So, so you're going to see, I'm going to land, I'm going to land my heavies. I'm going to land my heavies actually farm a little bit, be on the front. So one artillery, three artillery, one barrage. Clear those four defenses. So I gain I gain twelve um, GBE, but I actually ended up using twenty. All right, so I made it. I made it there. Good. Now I'm gonna start flaring diagonally. You see, I'm following the the line pattern. All is good so far. So I made it to my spot now. I'm, I'm in my spot, and this is the first part work that cost me Sukas. So my smoke was a little bit lower than I needed to. Therefore, when my Sukas started spreading up, I lost some Sukas here on the front and on the, and on the top. When this smoke on the back expires, I'm going to lose some Sukas there. Now, the plan is to, to flare at the last second. So there you see me. Critters to distract the shock launcher behind me. Flare to the front. Those are the first guys that get spotted. The mortars and the rocket launcher are all targeting the heavies. I, I shot the rocket launcher on the bottom. I shot the rocket launcher on the on the left. I actually realized that I had extra GBE, so I shot the shock launcher, and then the Sukas go to town. And we get the win. And that is how you um, smoke troops in. Use advantage of your heavies. Um, it was actually... Quite, quite good. You know, I use um, heavy suka, smuka a lot. Um, using smoky heavy suka for the mega crap, um, and it's one of the most versatile combos. Mainly because you don't have to worry if you're gonna be smoking. You don't have to worry about mines. You don't have to worry about uh, splash damage defenses hitting your sukas if 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 you position them correctly. So guys, that that's about it. Let me know in the comment section if you like the video, if there's anything in particular that you want me to touch on or any combinations that you want me um, to use. Also, let me know what you think about the changes that uh, Supercells is going to implement um, in the cycle of evil and for the operations. Um, and lastly, guys, if you do enjoy the content of this video, please hit that um, I, my icon that just appeared on the left side of the screen to subscribe. There's, there, there's going to be a couple of videos that you may be interested in. And just smash that like button, guys. I know you're watching my videos. Just I need you to subscribe, so please do. Take care, and solid checking out.